Hello everyone and in this video we're going to talk through the accordion widget that you can add to your website, your web pages, your funnel pages. Accordion widgets are a great way to answer frequently asked questions or give um, a list of information just tidying up with titles that people can click on to take a look. So we've got a left hand side menu, you'll see here we've actually got the add widget budget button. Click the hold on the accordion, drag it off uh, into your page, into your block. And as you can see here, we've actually got the um, accordion style look with the title, section heading, content, and plus and minus signs for opening out the actual content. So if we click on save for a minute, so you can actually see how this looks on a page, you can click on view, and you can see here we've got the title, you click on the plus sign, it opens up the content, click on the next one, closes the previous one, opens the next content. And you can fill this with as much content as you want. And we click uh, back on here again, go to settings, you can see the settings box. This is where you add the title or add new comments sections, new ones of these, each time you actually uh, want to add frequently asked questions to your pages. And it's simple as just adding a new one and then filling in the title. And we're gonna do a new one, section heading, um let's just do this information and we're going to leave the text that it is you can actually add a call to action button so a call to action button you can actually have here you can see how it's got it as a link um the button text and then add a link which is any of the links that you can set on all the previous things that we've talked about for adding links you can then style the text um uh, pretty much change this how you want to change it so I'm gonna get rid of this for a minute let's go back so now we've got four sections in this the first one is automatically default to open each one of these you just click on settings and it literally is the same thing change the title the section heading and the content add a call to action button on the section if you want to and you just do that for each section what we've also got is the styling tab for your frequently asked questions or your accordion box. So we click on here, edit. I'm gonna move this over the side so you can actually see this. We've got four styles built into the platform. This is currently style four, which shows the negative and the plus signs for one that's actually open or closed. We've got style one, which changes it to minus and plus signs in circles that are a lot fainter. You've got style two, which is the up and down chevrons. You've got style three, which has got nothing at all. And then style four, which is the plus and minus signs. I prefer that looks, it stands out a little bit better. You've got the heading font, which is where it says title right here. Um, we can actually change that to whatever font that we want. And just to show you how that would look, uh, let's change it to dancing script. You can see it's changed to an italic and dancing script there. Um, and you can actually change the size of the title to whatever you want by dragging the slider to whatever font size you want there. The background color is the background color of the actual title bar. So we can change that to maybe a pale blue. The heading color is actually the color of the title of the font. So we can change that maybe to a white and you see how these change to white but the minus and the plus the uh, title say the same. And then the content area background, which is this section here, you can also change those. It just depends on how you actually want it to look when people are viewing the actual um, accordion. As you can see, some of it's gonna look terrible and some of it's gonna look great. It just depends on what your colors and your branding and your style is that you want to include. Remember, with the global coloring, if you choose a color that's one of your global colors, if you change your global colors, it will change it in here as well. I'm gonna go back to the white, so we've actually got that. That's the styling of the actual accordion box. So there's your uh, four titles, the new one at the bottom. You've actually got the styling. You can add as many of these as you like. Now, I would suggest that if we remember rightly, most people will probably do accordions side by side. A great way to do that is to click on the columns at the top here. Click on the number two to create two uh, side by side columns. If you click on that, it will give you this bar up here where you can change the styling, the settings, the alignment. If you click on copy, which you've already set all the styling, and then grab it and drag it off next to it, you can actually put two of these side by side. Let's save that and see how it looks on a website. So here you have your uh, eight uh, FAQs right now. Click on a plus sign, it opens it up. As you can see, each one is opening up as the other one closed. And you've now got them side by side, however you want them to look for your accordion uh, widget. That's how you use the accordion widget. I hope this helped. 
Um, I hope you like the idea of this. I think it's great, as I've said, for frequently asked questions going on the bottom of your web page, your website, or even on your sales pages. So you get to answer those questions and they don't send you as many emails. They actually product, uh, buy your products or services. Again, any questions about any of this um, or any of the widgets that we actually use, don't forget to send me an email at support at contentforcoaches.help. That's it for this video. See you on the next one.